the Federal Reserve prints a lot of money and people are just worrying about going back to work, bringing the business and activity to normality. Just to go out from this lockdown, doesn't matter if with a mask on your face for the next month or not. And in this video, as we are just in the second part of April, I prepared, according to some request, a unique presentation with focus on the United States, showing you the most interesting aspects to consider into the rest of the year. The reality is and seems to be encouraging, and people should prepare now, as some experts are already doing great jobs and recommending people to see on the other sides of what the main media are showing us. Let's see inside of the presentation what I just prepared for you. So we are going to look on the United States and I'm going to tell you the main aspects, not showing you any chart, just speaking with you with the important details to what we should consider. We are looking on more than half of the year and it's very important. People should be prepared. Astrologers could tell you aspects uh, to tell you the astrology of different dimension. Everything has a good side and bad side. I prefer to take the worst case scenario in purpose just to make people realize what's the possibility and what's the severe, severe or the serious side of uh, those aspects. And we all need to consider this. United States, as we, as we know, is basing the standard that we familiar today as the USD. And when the USD and when the US is going to be in troubles, the rest of the world will follow. We are measuring Bitcoin by USD, gold by USD, and many others, the oil. And what is, seems to happen, according to the very hard aspects in this year, should be a very red flag. And I'm going to introduce it to you and on what time we are going to look at. We are just in the middle of April as recording this video and the year started with a very important strong aspect of Saturn Pluto and we saw already with the Mercury retrograde in Pisces in February March what happened to the stock market and this is still nothing because the energy is already holding the future aspects that are coming and showing why it's so severe because if it would be only Saturn Pluto and very light relatively aspects uh, in the rest of the year maybe it won't be uh, that dynamic and fragile uh, in this time specifically so we are going to see what are those main aspects into january 2021 and the first one that i want to tell you is regards july june july and november january what we're going to have in those two pair of months. This is a very, very <laughs> not easy timing. But before this, June, July. First of all, if you remember the, the, the previous video uh, about the retrograde phases, Venus is going to retrograde in Gemini. Gemini ruled by Mercury. Mercury is a very big player here. And the head of the US right now represented by Mercury because Trump is Gemini but Mercury is also indicates in the US natal chart the USD of course and the Federal Reserve that is just managing what we just know and the word value as we measured it so in June and July we are looking on Pluto Pluto is going to be in retrograde. Pluto actually is going to start the retrograde from the end of April. And Pluto is related to the deep state and all what is happening beneath our surface. And when Pluto is going backward, it's helping us to excavate inside of another tunnel. And don't be surprised if after all this phase, 
And toward November, we are going to reveal a lot of trashy truth. And I think that is starting already. So what will happen? In this first pair, when Pluto is still going retrograde, is going to oppose the Mercury of the United States, which is located on the eighth house of the United States. The, the eighth house of the United the eighth house is represented by all the bonds and all the value that governments are investing, all the banking system. Pluto is going to retrograde and to face the truth of what is happening in the Pandora box of the Fed, of the managing of the country, and about the currency. Pluto is working with criminality, is belonging to where the, where the bad people actually, where the crime is happening. So when it's going to oppose, it's like in, in front of the mirror, it's, it's like showing face to face what is happening. We actually had already in March, the first time Pluto opposed Mercury, and we saw what happened to the market. It was very, very strong because it happened together with Jupiter. In July, it's going to happen again with Jupiter, because both Jupiter and Pluto are going to be together in retrograde, opposing Mercury. Okay, so this is going to be another revelation. Will be very interesting to interpret it when it's doing it on reverse, because it would bring things from the past and from the very deep state. So be prepared with this in July. Then what is happening on the second half of the year when Pluto is going direct and Jupiter, Pluto and Jupiter will move direct and again will be in 24 degrees opposing the Mercury of the United States. Jupiter is very not happy being in Capricorn and Jupiter is a truth revealer. And together with Pluto is revealing the dirt of the dirt of the dirt because it's after retrograde. Both are fresh after retrograde. They are revealing inside of the cave what is happening. And they are doing something that is going probably to collapse or to transform the USD or something a major bankruptcies. Just according to the transit, I'm telling you. Okay? Ready to continue? Let's add another layer because November is so hard month. First of all, you know, November is the month of Scorpio and <laughs> November is ruled by Pluto itself. In November, the North Node, which is already in Gemini, is going to conjunct the North Node is going to conjunct to go exactly on the on the planet Mars of the United States. The Mars of the United States is in Gemini and in the seventh house. Be with me. I know some technical details. That's why I'm writing it to you down. Mars is the warrior, and this is all the military that is around the Middle East there to protect the USD. When the North Node that is actually moving to Gemini already by May this year, in November is going to conjunct exactly Mars. So this is focusing that something very serious is related to the power, to the military, to the protection of the United States, and it could be, because it's in Gemini, anything related to satellites, anything related to data, or many a major hacking or, or something, not just data, because it's in Gemini, and we understand about the Mercury. This is all about the money. So something maybe should be threat on the oil reserves or where actually what the military is doing in the Middle East to protect this um, petrodollar that is the base of the US wealth. And this is something very interesting to look at and very big red flag, November and election time. And this is the election time of Trump, right? 
Yeah. So something very important is happening with the United States, with Gemini, with the information, with the, with the computing of the United States, with the, with the satellites, with the data, with truth, with information, with news, and with military, and with the USD. All this Mercury, and Trump is Mercury, is Gemini. In November and December, another thing is happening. Mars, again Mars is conjunct with Chiron in Gemini, again Gemini. You understand this? How serious is going to be related to currency, Mercury, Gemini, currency, let's put USD, petrodollar, election, of course, Mercury is also, Gemini is also related to election, and right now Trump, and also data and also the CIA, all the information. And also you could consider the 5G if it's relevant in this case. So when Mars, the warrior, is meeting with Chiron, this is a war. And I studied already the history of other wars of the United States. And the last time it was, there are two times that I remember the attack in Iraq and what finished the life of Saddam Hussein and the Vietnam War. When you are seeing all those aspects around the time of November, this is, seems to me, uh, if I can bet here about what sort of scenario could take this is about the sovereignty of the U.S. threat and actually a war in the Middle East to save, to control the, whatever threat may occur, whether with Iran or whether with something like this. I'm telling you the negative side of this placement, because if Trump is going to be the Q, as speculative are speaking, Mars conjunct Chiron could be transformed to peace, to correction, to agreement that will heal something very, very old and painful of many years ago. This will be dependent how the energies, how the consciousness will be available for people and for who, is who are the managers of the system. Let's move on. This is more. In September, again, something with Mercury, you see? Gemini. Mars and asteroid Aries. Squaring 90 degrees, hard aspect to Mercury. So Mars and asteroid Aries, both in Aries, squaring the U.S. Mercury, which is in Cancer. I think I don't write it real. In Cancer. So, this is again a discord, a war against the U.S.D. sovereignty, or a threat also to to Trump election primaries or something like this that could be very much uncertainty and and um, some discords. It's very violent, must to say, together with what we just said. This is coming prior, prior to what I just showed you, September, but we are seeing that those aspects are very strong. When I see Mars and asteroid Aries together in the sign of Aries, this is very sharp. This is like a sword in the head of someone. And when it's doing a square to Mercury, this is going to influence very bigly on economy, on the debt of the US. And you all need to be aware to this. In November, another event. Look how the interesting aspects are concentrating to the very last months of the year. Jupiter and Pluto, as we just introduced, 
are conjuncting in 22 degrees, not 24, and going to do exact trine to Neptune. What happened in 22 degrees of Capricorn? Last January, January 2020, Saturn and Pluto met in this place. And now Jupiter will replace the sign of uh, will replace the sign of Saturn and will do this trine to Neptune. Jupiter is related also to travels and to our experience and to the truth. And because Neptune is also related to lies and fantasies, this is a time that we are maybe going to reveal the emails of Hillary could be, or some very, very ugly truth that are going to reveal. Those are so much truth or someone that is actually appearing like another sort of a messiah that is coming and showing people what was there. It's like someone is coming out from the grave. That's something that I'm receiving here because the 22 degrees is a degree of a of a big transformation. This is where Saturn and Pluto came. And we remember that after Saturn and Pluto came, the coronavirus erupted in China. And now when Jupiter and Pluto will come to reveal us, this is also to, going to tell us that we are going to understand who was the, the source or what's the source of the coronavirus. This is also could be another wave of epidemia or pandemia, hopefully not. But this is very, very, could be very devastating, I must to say. This is very, very crazy. I op also open to some astrologers that could even give their own interpretation to such intensity of energy, because this could be many different options to introduce it. But I would be very worried around this time and very much to worry for the life of President Trump. And this is something that is going to revolutionize everything. You remember, this is happening exactly on November 11. This exact square, this exact conjunction that is doing the trine to Neptune. Well, the trine is a positive aspect. It's supporting that is actually about something very big something very hidden to reveal maybe the reveal of the cabal maybe something that will be um very shocking true true jupiter is about truth and also about uh, something that you fight for but jupiter and pluto did a very long pass path during the year if to speak being in november right now and then Another thing in November, December, Mars conjunct the Chiron of the United States. We just mentioned it and are both doing the square to Mercury, but also doing the square to where Saturn Pluto met. So actually those conjunction are going to be influencing also on this one. So this is going to be something very painful, very painful. Another scenario is a big bankruptcy, like the debt bubble is exploding and it's going to provoke poverty, loss of values. And we're just in the same year that Venus is retrograde in Gemini by this uh, May, June. So all the pivot points are building up to take us to such a revolution. Because in December, Saturn and Jupiter will meet in Aquarius for the first time in Earth sign. And this is already the consequence of all what we are seeing here and will provoke us to see, to see and think in a brand new way and to value things in a brand new way. And all the values that we base so far will be something else. Try to use your imagination or go beyond the reality and the logic of the fundamentals that you are basing on. Ah, if the Fed will print this and this stock right now will go here, I can do my exit, I could take my money here and there, and then maybe all the money that you earned value nothing. 
This is also speaking about, Neptune is speaking about the bubbles. So this could be uh, the, the truth of things that will be valueless and the, the explosion of the bubble, eruption of the bubble. Because also Neptune is related, because Neptune of the United States is in Virgo. And Virgo is related to health. So it could be again related to another pandemia or reveal of a vaccine also could be. And not just a vaccine, it could be something that will be related with what we're speculating about what Bill Gates is planning, who knows? But then the revolution will start. People will awake probably to do some actions and not to accept all the laws that government is saying. From today, no going out from the home. From today, everybody with mask. From today, everybody red hat. From today, the king said. And then people are going to stop obeying those ways when they understand that it's not exactly to our favor. This is an abuse of the system we gave the power to. Oh, in January 12th, 2021, just interesting, this is the end. New moon in Capricorn, exactly around when Saturn and Pluto met, and exactly after when Jupiter Pluto met in Capricorn. This will happen near to Pluto, that again will oppose the Mercury of the United States. So again, this new moon will speak about a new cycle of monetary system or a new way of controlling or how, how, the man, how um, something new is happening in the government. Maybe something totally different or based on the, the noise that will happen uh, everywhere. So this is just showing that governments, it will be very much related to how we are going to start this new year. And the year of 2021 is going to be difficult. This is inside of a depression. So it's just indicating all this so much. The same day of this new moon, something that is very much helping us to understand how it's going to influence, Saturn will be in three degrees and doing aspect of 150 degrees called quincunx with the US Venus, with Venus of the US, Venus speaking about the value and Saturn related to authority and uh, new law and institutions and banks. So this is about something big is happening with the banking system in January 2021, 2021. And this is also could be about bankruptcies after what we saw in the previous slide of Jupiter-Pluto to Neptune. Very much alarming about alternative solution. You also could see the previous videos, the interview I did with an astrologer from Portugal and with an astrologer from Greece, what we spoke about the options that we should go. Check in my playlist here in YouTube to to start thinking another way. And here, just to remind you, that's what we saw. We say in November 11, 2020, Jupiter and Pluto are meeting in 22 degrees, the famous degrees, doing trying to Neptune. And Neptune just will be direct on this day in Pisces. And Mars will station to move direct in Aries. This is a revolution and related to a burst of a bubble to bankruptcies one after one, like domino effect, maybe the eruption of the death bubble, crush of the values. And here in December, as I'm calling revolution, December 17, Jupiter and Saturn in Aquarius on the same day that Chiron stationed to move direct. And this is about understanding brand new reality and not accepting or not valuing what we valued before. 
Yes, my friends, hopefully it was resonating and uh, helping. And uh, please share this video or just subscribe, like for helping the algorithm of YouTube to bring it to more people. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.